Hi, my name is Trinity Hardy and today we will be visiting the Apalachicola National Estuarine Research Reserve. Aner, for short, is a research facility and museum focused on our local ecosystems and waterways. The Apalachicola National Estuarine Research Reserve Nature Center has three main components. There is the nature center itself, which houses three aquariums representing the fresh water, the river part of the system, the brackish water, which is the bay or estuary part of the system, and salt water, which represents the Gulf of Mexico. We also have a wall mural that also replicates those uh, same different parts of the ecosystem behind the tanks. And then we have a rotating exhibit space that changes about every three to six months. Outside of the Nature Center is the theater, which shows our award-winning 12-minute documentary film, Apalachicola River and Bay, a Connected Ecosystem. And then we have the boardwalks, which are split into the nature walk on the north side of the property and the watershed walk bay overlook on the south side of the property. The Bay Discovery Room is a hands-on room with a collection of artifacts and biofacts that you are welcome to come in, pick up, look at, and discover for yourself. We have a microscope for some of the smaller items and even a live snake on display. Okay, the Nature Walk um, has a plant guide that you can pick up at either end of the walk that will uh, show you some of the, the more common plants that we have on the property. There are also quotes from famous people, ranging from Einstein to Homer Simpson, that talk about the relationship of man and nature, and the idea of those is to give you a chance to think about that complex relationship also. Then on the other side, on the uh, watershed walk, that is a scale model of the entire Apalachicola Flint Chattahoochee River system at six inches to the mile. So as you walk down that boardwalk, you're actually taking a trip down the river system from the headwaters in North Georgia all the way down to Apalachicola Bay. And then along the walk, there's signage that talks about water usage in the system. As water usage increases on the north end of the system, we get less and less water into our estuary at the end of the system, and that's affecting the ecology of the bay. We do have a, uh, a lecture series that we call Reserve Wednesdays. It's the third Wednesday of every month from two to three in the afternoon on a wide range of topics. Uh, we've had speakers who've come in and talked about bears in our area. We've had a talk on monarch butterflies, uh, uh, reptiles, uh, you name it, all kinds of different subject matter. And that again is the third Wednesday of every month, two to three in the afternoon. We are located at 108 Island Drive in East Point, Florida, and that would be on the left-hand side of Island Drive as you're approaching the bridge over to St. George Island. Just look for the signs, turn into the parking lot. For a complete tour, you can visit the Apalachicola National Estuarine Research Reserve in East Point, Florida, located off of Island Drive. For a complete list of Franklin County Museums, visit floridasforgottencoast.com, and we'll see you next time on another museum tour.